Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. We have been hearing the short sales for almost a decade, screaming Tesla will go bankrupt. And all the big boys are talking about all the Tesla killers they will come out with. And people even today are still talking about this. And I even get comments sometimes from people thinking that the big boys can just come in to the EV market and sell millions of EVs and outsell Tesla. And then Tesla will no longer be unique and the big boys will just stay the big boys and Tesla is still doomed. Let me tell you why this is not the case, why Tesla will become the biggest car manufacturer on the planet, and why Tesla no longer can just be killed, and it is game over for the big boys. Tesla has just made the checkmate move. Let's dive right in. So let's get this straight once and for all and why Tesla just made their checkmate move on the future of the car industry and why the big boys really can't do anything about it and why it is so damn hard for the big boys to go electric. So there are of course many things in this but let's start with the checkmate move. Tesla just got their four quarters in a row with profit. And this is very important because they will now get into the S&P 500. This is very important because that means that the S&P 500 will have to buy 25 million shares in the company. That means they will have to pay Tesla about $34 billion. And they already have $8.6 billion in the bank, so they will have over $40 billion dollars in the bank when this is done. And remember, Tesla is no longer just burning cash as they used to. They are now profitable and cash in the bank has gone up from 2 billion in 2018 to 8.6 billion in 2020. So they are not even using all these money right now, even while they are building three gigafactories at the same time. But now they're going to have $40 billion in the bank and they could use maybe just $5 billion in 2021 or 22 to build 5 gigafactories at the same time. Tesla now suddenly has kind of all the money they need. The whole they will go bankrupt is no longer an issue. With $40 billion they can lose $1 billion every year and it would take over 40 years for them to go bankrupt. This is no longer an issue. Tesla is no longer going to go bankrupt. The big boys can't just wait anymore for this thorn in their eye to die and go away. Tesla is here to stay. And now Tesla suddenly have a lot of money to start really ramping up gigafactories, buying new innovative startup companies that have technology that Tesla wants. Remember, they only had to pay $800 million for Maxwell. So Tesla is safe now and we no longer have to worry for them to go bankrupt. Tesla survived, Tesla won, checkmate. But why can't the big boy just scale up like crazy and no one of the big boys have even shown a plan to scale up like crazy. One of the most bullish plans comes from Volkswagen that wants to make about 1.5 million vehicles in 2025. This is in five years. That is only about 10% of their cars. So they will still make about 90% ICE cars in 2025. And Volkswagen even stated that only 40% of its fleet will be electric by 2030. So 60% ICE cars in 10 years. This is only 4.5 million EVs in 10 years time. And Tesla will probably make about 4.5 million cars in 2025 and probably reach their goal of 20 million in 2030. But this pace could change with all the money they have just got. Tesla could probably push even harder and make even more gigafactories faster. But let's just stick with the 4.5 million by 2025. 
But this means that in five years time, Tesla will be three times bigger as Volkswagen in the EV market. And in 10 years time, probably more than four times bigger. Sure, Volkswagen will still be bigger in total volume of cars, ICE and EVs sold in 2025, but they will still be three times smaller than Tesla in the EV market. And the EV market is the future. And my guess is that of all the big boys, Volkswagen will be the one that is going to go electric the fastest. So don't think anyone else is going to make much more than 1.5 million electric vehicles in 2025. This will mean that Tesla, even in five years time, will still be the biggest car manufacturer of EVs in the world. And the world is going electric. I know that many think the Chinese car makers will just crush Tesla in China and at some point take over the whole EV market in the world. But I really don't think so, because just look at what is happening right now. Tesla is just dominating the EV market in China with 21% market share. All the Chinese companies like NIO, BYD, Xping, you can combine all their cars sold in May and they will still not beat the Tesla Model 3. And Tesla made even more deliveries in June. Because it is not only many Westerns that don't want to buy a car that is made in China or Chinese brand. This is also the case in China. Many Chinese people will choose a Tesla over a local brand. Chinese people love Western brands and it is much bigger status symbol to have a Tesla than an Xping on a BYD. So Tesla is just crushing it in China already, and I think this will just continue, like it will many other places in the world, because Tesla also have the first mover effect. Tesla will always be the company that put EVs on the map. Many people will also choose a Tesla for that reason alone. And Tesla is one of the only car companies that have their mission to be to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Some people will buy the cars on that reason alone. And right now Tesla is also the golden standard for electric vehicles. And people want the best. And if you right now want the best EV you can buy, that is a Tesla. And now Tesla just got all their financial struggles to go away. So I don't really think they will be in trouble to stay ahead of everyone else. They have got a 10 years head start and now they have the money to keep getting the right people to come work for them. And the right people also want to go work for Tesla because Tesla is changing the world. And you can be a part of that. Or you can go work for someone like Volkswagen and make an electric car. Tesla is so much more than a car company and Tesla has become a brand of innovation and is attracting the right people for Tesla to stay in the lead. And this alone will also be enough for people to choose Tesla over anything else. It is the best EV on the market and not the most expensive one. And the big old boys are not moving as fast as Tesla because they will lose a shitload of money if they just came out and said, okay, we're gonna make an EV that is better and cheaper than our gas cars. Then everyone would want their electric car and not their gas car anymore. And remember, even in five years time, the gas car will still be 90% of their business. So they are in big trouble because it can hurt them if they move too fast and it can hurt them if they move too slow. And right now, no one of the big boys have the batteries to be able to keep up with Tesla. And Tesla will no doubt be one of the world's biggest battery manufacturer and all these batteries are just for Tesla themselves. And LG Kim and CATL batteries have to be shared by everyone else, including Tesla. And even GM that has made a deal with LG Chem to make their factory in the US to make 30 gigawatt hour a year of batteries will not be ready before 2023. And that is only enough to make about half a million cars. So they will not be anywhere near Tesla in 2025 because so far that is the only big battery factory they have planned. And Tesla has a plan to get to one terawatt hour battery production that they will hopefully reveal on battery day and show us their plan to get to this number and when. 
but you can be sure that Tesla has a plan, and the plan is to get to 20 million cars in the year 2030. And by the way things are going right now, I believe much more in Tesla to get to 20 million cars than I believe any one of the big boys will catch up. No one of them even have a plan on how to catch up to Tesla. And they are behind on battery technology, drivetrain, software, charging speed, charging infrastructure. And Tesla even have their own car insurance that is just scratching the surface. And they are moving much faster than all of them. Tesla just put up more charging stations in Q2 that was equivalent to 50% of the biggest competitors' total charging stations. And they are right now building three gigafactories at the same time that will all be done before GM even gets their 30 gigawatt hour plant ready. And this is even before they get the billions of dollars from S&P 500. So I'm sorry, but the big boys don't have a chance to keep up with Tesla. I'm not saying they will all just die. I think some of them will, but they will no longer be the big boys when the car market is all electric. Tesla will, and the other guys will just be one of the boys. And even though Tesla will get $40 billion in the bank, it does not mean that they need these to stay alive because Tesla is now profitable. And Tesla will really start earning money on all their businesses they have. And this will just make them even stronger and a stronger brand because people will start to see Tesla's mission come to life with their solar business, their battery power plant business, their rapidly growing car business, the charging infrastructure business, the battery business, the car insurance business, the software business, the virtual power plant business, auto beta business, electricity business, ride sharing business, robo taxi business, app store business, hardware business. And when the boring company is ready with some of all their upcoming tunnels, Tesla will also supply them with some kind of battery powered buses. And when Elon's Starlink is up and running, Tesla will probably have free internet for all their cars or maybe just make a ton lot of money on their premium connection because Tesla will get dirt cheap internet from SpaceX. Tesla will grow like crazy because of all these businesses will become reality and almost all of them will grow to billion of dollars companies on their own. So their car business will suddenly in 10 years time not be Tesla's biggest business in itself, but it will be one of the world's biggest car companies with 20 million vehicles a year with a car slash vehicle in every category from the cheap mass produced car in China to the fastest supercar to semi truck to cyber truck, vans, ATVs, sedan, buses and probably much more. So I really think inclusion in S&P 500 and the $40 billion that we'll get from that will make Tesla unbeatable. Not that Tesla can't trip or make a mistake or that they would have some kind of monopoly, but with the pace they are already going and growing with, that is just light years in speed compared to the competition. And then suddenly get $40 billion? I can't see how they will ever catch up now, because the big boys are trying, but they are having big problems making EVs at scale, even though they have the experience in mass production. Just take Porsche, it has over 30,000 pre-orders of the Taycan, so they should be able to deliver all these cars in 2020, right? 30,000. But in the first half of the year they have not even delivered 5,000 of their Taycan here in Europe. And Mercedes wanted to produce 25,000 EQCs in 2019, but was only able to produce 7,000. Mercedes that have over 120 years experience is having huge trouble producing electric vehicles. Mass producing good electric vehicles is just a very different game than making ice cars. And Tesla is now also being better and faster at producing the machine that builds the machine, the gigafactories. Tesla has made this a specialized business in itself to make these factories faster, bigger, better, cheaper. So as we see right now, Tesla is building more factories better and faster than anyone else. 
and even innovating on the way you make the car, like reducing the amount of wiring in the car from 3 kilometers in the Model S to 1.5 kilometers in the Model 3 and want to get to 100 meters in the Model Y. They have made the Super Bottle and the Octoval, making the big stamping machine that can make most of the body in one press something the other guys in the auto industry is not doing and is now getting behind on this as well. Tesla is just overtaking the old boys in the industry at a pace that the old boys don't even know how to get to, don't even have a plan that will catch up to Tesla. All this and then they get 40 billion? Hmm. This is why I say this is not just check, but checkmate. Not meaning the other boys will die, but Tesla will live and be one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. And that will even only be one small part of their huge business in 10 years time. So Tesla is owning the EV market right now. And with the pace of the old boys, they are not going to catch up. Tesla is about to get $40 billion in the bank, so they can't just be killed off anymore. And Tesla is attracting the brightest mind and is more innovative than the rest and have over 10 businesses within the company that will earn billions of dollars for Tesla as well. Tesla is getting too strong, too fast for the big boys to do anything about it. They should have been doing all that they are trying to do now 10 years ago. Then they had a chance against Tesla. Now they're just too little, too late. They lost the fight against Tesla. Now the fight to survive. Checkmate. But what do you think? Do you think the old boys have any chance to catch up even though they don't even have a plan to catch Tesla? Or is Tesla still doomed? And if so, let me know why you think so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out this video a lot. If you're new to this channel, maybe you want to consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this all the time and have a weekly news episode every Sunday about Tesla, Elon Musk and everything in between. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support me even more, remember you can for as little as $1 become a patron of this show and get your shout out on this channel and become one of my amazing Patreon producers you see rolling over the screen right now. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.